Get your ass in here. What the fuck? I'm tripping. We got shit to talk about. Hold on. I mean, looking crazy and shit. The bonnet on. Let's get y'all asses in here. What's popping, you two? It's your boy, Trevor Boy. How y'all feeling, bro? Hey, listen. If you in, if you don't talk about Trevor Boy, got a bonnet on. Fuck you. Your hair dry as shit. You got that Brillo pad up top. I gotta keep this shit looking cool, bro. I'm like, if I'm gonna grow it out. I gotta have this shit looking crazy and pristine, bro. Like, what if one day, like. I'm chilling with a female and she's like, can I touch your hair? Or she just, somebody touched my hair. Like my shit feel like a Brillo pad, bruh. That sound when you eating chips when you picking it, I don't want that to be me. I'm sorry, bruh, I can't. It ain't never been in my DNA. I got the robe on shit, nigga, I'm chilling. I got the bottom of I still fuck your bitch. <laughs> nigga, be on shit, nigga, hold on, hold on. Hey, this is rough, fuck. That ain't okay. That hole hard, bro. If you ain't got one of these, get one. You can do anything. You don't even gotta live in real life no more. You just get in this motherfucker right here and live your life. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If you old and life ain't worked out for you, <laughs> you want to see a restart, bro. I was in it last night and I forgot that it wasn't my real world, bro. Cause the house they had me in, the little setup was better than my shit. I had a palm tree in my living room and shit. If you get that, you get a palm tree in the middle of your living room, bro. That shit crazy. We got something to talk about. So I was at work today, you know, driving and shit like I be, you know, I was driving, doing my thug thizzle. And I was like, damn, I just got to thinking back, like I've had a lot of jobs in my life. Like I've worked at a lot of places. I've worked at, my first job was Boston Market. I worked there for about a year. Second job was, I was a piece of delivery dude. That's what we about to get into. Um, but third job, Walmart, fourth job, Oh, no, no, no. My first job wasn't Boston Market. My first job was B-Spot. It's this burger place. Second job was Boston Market. Third job was pizza delivery. Fourth job was uh, uh, B-Spot. Walmart. Like, I worked about a lot of places. That's a lot of, I mean, I don't think it's bad. Because personally, shit. I get this. I got to see a lot of the shit I would see when, like, I would just see on TV or on the road, and I'd be like, "Bruh, what the fuck did that? Like, what do they be doing?" Like, I worked at Marcos. So initially, I worked at this. I, I worked at Boston Market in high school, my senior year of high school. So once I graduated, I still was working at Boston Market. But I thought, why not get an extra job to make some extra money? Cause at the time, I had a girlfriend, so I wanted to have more money because I wasn't really making much money at Boston Market. So um little did i know that job was gonna whoop my ass in one day yes i got fired the first day the very first day like i didn't last next day you know i uh i uh i applied for the job and they got back to me within like a couple days like i remember how quick they uh they ended up hitting me up like it was real quick so um i had an interview at the interview, he said, uh, bruh, yeah, come on down for the, uh, I mean, like, we, we wanna hire you, bruh. We gonna hire you. I'm like, all right, bet. Hire me, I'm good at this, bruh. Me, cause really, he only asked me like two questions. And he was like, is you a people, are you a people person? I'm like, bro, I am a people person. Like, I like people. I think it was like the next, that next, uh, it was like a, yeah, it was like a Friday. It was really like, it was like a Friday. It kind of set me up because First of all, they set me up for making me work on a Friday. I don't know nothing about y'all business, bro. Hold on. If my lips dry to y'all, they bitches burning. Let me get some Vaseline. Feel better. You, mean, you got me delivering on a Friday, bro. I ain't know people deliver pizzas. I know people order a lot of pizza on Friday, bro. Like, I know that. It's the weekend, you know. People probably having friends over niggas throwing parties and shit. Pizza is like the go-to food, nigga. Cool though. I get there and all that. My manager, short, uh, this short lady, uh, I don't remember her name, bro. Like, I do not remember her name at all. I mean, I ain't had that much time with you. I'm gonna call you, uh, you look more like a, you look like Keisha. I'm gonna call you Keisha. All right, so look, I get there, it's just Keisha and this dude with some very sketchy braids in the back, doing pizza, or doing the thing with pizza. And that's another thing why I was happy about this job. I wanted to know what pizza dough felt like. 
I want to feel that shit. I want to play with it. Like, dude, like, I would, this is something like, I, I want to know what all that was like. I want to see if I could do all that shit with the pizza dough. And so, like, I, I learned that shit harder than it looked. Like, it looked easy. Like, you just start, put it right there, get to hitting that bitch. You gotta, like, really have, like, you gotta have that wrist work with that motherfucker. It's like, it's crazy. Like, you gotta start off, like, damn, you shorten them motherfuckers. Like, that. Go crazy, man. Like, it, the nigga was in there doing that shit. Like, I remember she said something to him. They having a conversation. She said, yeah. I mean, shit, I think it was Tuesday? Maybe Friday. I don't know. I got there at 5. I got there at 5. Late in the day and all that, blah, blah, blah. So, she tell me, we're going to throw you straight out onto the road. So, I'm like, damn, just like that? And she like, yeah. I'm like, do I ride with somebody? She said, no. Nah. And I had later found out niggas called off. And she forgot I came. She was got forgot I was coming in. But when I got there, she was happy. Like, man, cause she gave me all the last nigga work. Um, so when she tell me, I'm like, you sure? Like I don't need no uh I don't need no partner or something. And I was like, what about him? Can he come with me? She like, who gonna make the pieces? And I was just like, you can make the pieces. And then she was like, um, nah, I'ma stay here. She like, I gotta stay here and I gotta run this place. And I was like, well damn. I Alright. Um, it just so happened at this point in time, um, my grandma was paying my phone bill. So um my grandma was paying my phone bill and I only had like zero I had like 1.5 gigs of data every month. Like my internet. I had 1.5 gigs of internet every month. So that went by really quick. Like I got excited, bro. Internet day for me was like payday. <laughs> Hey, Trey, what you smiling for? I got my internet, nigga. The internet on, nigga. Shit, the internet on, bro. Shit, you want an iMessage or something? Shit, I can iMessage because my internet on. Because niggas got tired of getting them green messages from me. I found out we had to use our phone to GPS to the different addresses. Cool. I told her, though, I ain't got no internet, bro. And she was just like, what do you mean? I was just like, I, like, I don't got no... I ran out for the month. Like, I ain't got that much. She looked at me like... Nigga, how you run on the internet? She uh, told she uh, was like, okay, use my phone, which I thought was so nice of her. But that got irritated because whatever nigga she was dealing with at the time, this nigga blowing her up the whole time. I'm trying to use the GPS. This nigga text in the middle of me, drive trying to look and figure out where I'm going. And this nigga text and say, why you acting like that? Like for real, man, just come over. And I was just like, yo, she, she. She be getting active. Day went on. He was getting a little, a little, a little bit more, a little bit more hostile. I think she didn't go over there. That's my guess. Because at one point he said, "I don't even fucking care anymore." And I'm like, "Oh, uh, she ain't coming over. She is not coming over." But okay, so look, I'm unorganized as hell, but it's going cool still. Like it's going pretty cool. This is the stop where it goes left. I had to deliver to a hospital. This hospital was big as hell. It was so big. It had different parts to it. Like, it is like literally like to drive, you had to leave that parking lot and go to another parking lot and stuff for different parts of like a building. Like it was, it was weird, like it was a big building. So I pull up there with the guy's pizza, right? My, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all, all right? Pinky sweat, pinky sweat, cause I'm not about, I cannot make none of this stuff. Pinky sweat, come on, curve yours. And then, all right, cool. So, um, I, I pull up and it's like a main entrance. So, dude called me. He said, yeah, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the, um, he said, how far, he asked me how far away I was. And I told him, I'm like, oh, I'm actually pulling in right now. He like, okay, I'm gonna come outside and stand in the front. Like, I was, um, he said, I, I didn't even like, I didn't even like, I don't know why I did not think about that. Like, he said he was gonna come outside. And I'm just like, I just, I, I didn't listen because I, oh, I know what it was. She had an Android and I didn't hear him say that. I didn't even hear him say that. I remember now. I didn't hear him say that, bruh. She had this Android, bruh, and I hated it, bruh. It was nice of her to let me use it because I ain't had internet. I couldn't even say nothing, bruh. So, um, I see the main entrance, so I pull up to it. I walk in there. I'm like, hey, did you order a pizza, ma'am? Or I'm like, uh, I'm like, was it a guy up here like looking for a piece of delivery or something? And she was like, 
no. She's like, no, no, it's just a piece over here. I'm like, huh, damn, maybe it's another part. All right. So I go, uh, I go put, I uh, go out to my car and I set the pizza on top of my car. I set the pizza on top of my car. I set the pizza on top of my car. I set that fucking pizza on top of my damn car. So I pulled my I pulled uh my phone out to call the guy. I said, "What part of the hospital are you at?" So he named the side. He was on the emergency. Uh, the, he was on the ER side. So I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool. I'm about to come around there right now." So I get in the car and I drive off. So I'm pulling around the building. I left out the parking lot, all that. I'm going around to the other side. So I get around to the ER side but before I get too far. It's like I immediately like, I it's like it, it's like I got punched in the damn stomach like a nigga oof me, bro. Like, like, like it's like a nigga punched me. It's like I got punched straight in the stomach because I immediately just thought the pizza. Where's the pizza? Cause I'm playing my music and all that, and I'm looking around though, and I'm like, and, I'm, and I remember looking at the seat, you know. I I don't know what I was listening to, but let's just you know. <laughs> It was like the it was like the movies, bro. I was like, uh, what the fuck, bro? It was crazy, bro. So I'm like, bro, where's the pizza? So I'm paying it. I'm like, bro, I'm patting my pockets like it's in there. I'm like, bro, where's the pizza, bro? I put the pizza on top of the car, bro. So I'm like, that pizza is somewhere in the street. So I immediately, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, bro, that pizza is somewhere in the street. So. I drove back, retracing my steps. I'm literally driving with my wind head out the window, looking around for this pizza. Bro. It's gone. It was gone. My pizza bag was gone. Cause the pizza was inside my pizza bag. It was gone, bro. Gone. So next thing you know, I'm sitting there like, bro, what the fuck? So I'm like, maybe it's along the. I, I'm like, maybe I dropped it like along the ER way when I was there. I lied, y'all. I went further along the ER thing than I said because. As I'm driving, right, I look to my left, it's a nigga standing right there on the sidewalk. We're not far apart at all. He's literally looking into my car. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I drive, right? <laughs> I drive, right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm going, right? Next thing you know, I look down at my phone. And when I looked up and saw the nigga, I knew exactly who he was. I knew he was the nigga I was supposed to be delivering to. I looked down at my phone. And this nigga, he said, is this you inside the blue car? And I was like, I can't look at him. I, not look at him. I looked at my peripheral real quick. And then I texted down on my phone. I'm like, no, nah, that's not me. I, uh, I'm i actually still on the street. I got lost. And this nigga, he said, is you sure? That's not you in the blue car driving back? <laughs> and I was like, bro, that's not me, bro. Like, I'm like, I'm still, I'm like, I'm at a red light right now. Like, I haven't even turned in. So he like, okay. So I went back to the, I went back to the building. I went back to Marco's. And so I'm, I, I walk in there and her and the nigga that was doing all this, they standing there. But as soon as I walk through the door, just looking, they just like, hey. Yeah, and, and I was like, look. And so she was just like, um, where your pizza bag at? I was like, um, in my head, I was thinking, it's just, should I say somebody stole my pizza from me? Should I say that? I should say somebody stole the pizza from me. But I was just like, she gonna say, nobody do that. Luckily, I went with the right option. I was like, I lost it. Like, I literally lost the pizza and the box and the bag. I ain't gonna lie to you. And she said, and she held it up like, here it go. And I was like, oh, that's what you niggas do? Y'all are sick. On oh, somebody's first day, you go steal this pizza bag from them? Y'all niggas are sick. Somebody found it and brought it up there. So she said, can you go deliver this to the guy? Yeah, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. It's probably not a good idea to send me back there. And she was like, wow. I'm like, he saw me and I told him I wasn't me. And it was a long pause. And she was like, what you mean? And I was like, he saw me and like, I just told him like, I wasn't who I was. Like, it was very, it was crazy. So she was like, just go take the pizza back to him, it's okay. I'm like, all right, cool, bet. So I'm, I'm cool, but I'm like, shit, you found this pizza. I'm happy. I want the nigga to get this pizza. So I went and gave him the pizza and stuff. And he was just like, 
And I was like, I, I, <laughs> I, I was making a dumbass face. Like, I didn't say nothing. I just gave it to him. I was like, I, 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 well, I did say it. I was like, here you go, man. And then he was just like this. And I was just like, and he, <laughs> he, he just took it and went in there. When I got back, she said, I'm gonna give you the rest of the day off. And I was just like, uh, I'm like, I wanna, I, 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 I gotta get paid. She's like, you gonna get paid for the full day, for the eight hours. I mean, not, uh, yeah, the eight hours, I was working eight to 12, I mean, uh, five to 12. I mean, uh, she like, you. oh, no, she said, you'll get paid for your full uh, six hours. I was working like five to 11 or something like that. And so I'm like, oh, for real? She like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. And then as I'm leaving, I'm like, bro, I handled that so good, bro. Like, she probably just, you know, she probably just jug with me. Like, she probably like, man, it was tough on him. Maybe just have him come back when he got a partner. He was right. He was right. He's a valuable asset to this team because he thinks with this, he used this, and we don't. He good. We not. He's cool. We not good. So, I, I went home. I told everybody how uh, it went. I didn't tell nobody that happened, though. I didn't tell nobody that happened. I just said, man. They told me something about it. It wasn't nobody to do with their train. me wasn't there, man. So, you know, I had to, they, they, like, they sent me on a couple, uh, on a couple deliveries. They're like, you did good, man. Go home for the day. We paying you the full day. It sounded better like that. Okay. So, next thing you know, I, uh, she called me the next day. They said, Trey, we can't come back. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nobody ever did that. And I was like, I mean, you should let me, I literally told her, I'm like, you should let me stay just for the simple fact. I know, I know you thought that shit was as funny as I did, as I did. She said it was, but when my boss heard about it, it's just like, I couldn't do nothing about it. I was like, man, you didn't have to tell him, but it's cool. So, long story short, y'all, if you deliver pizza, man, deliver that shit, bro. Don't put it on the car. Don't put that car, don't put the pizza on the car. Everything would be cool if I ain't put the pizza on the car. I shouldn't have put it on the car. But troops, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love y'all. Good night. Oh shit, you you y'all get the fuck out now. You leave now. It's cool.